Matthew 5, verse 8. Once again, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. Blessed, happy, enviably fortunate, and spiritually prosperous, possessing the happiness produced by the experience of God's favour, and especially conditioned by the revelation of His grace, regardless of their outward conditions, are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. To be pure in heart means to be fixed in your intent and in your in your heart and your mind that you will be focused in in all that you do as as unto God that you are aware and your conscience of Him that you're following Him like an obedient sheep you're following Him you follow His course and you walk follow Him everywhere and you are obedient to Him you read His word and you pray and you constantly dismiss any kind of distractions that you may follow him, that you're not sidetracked by, by sin, by uh, yourself, by by other things that may distract you, whatever they may be, because we all have tendency to be distracted by things like we've got television and uh, our sports or different things like that. But you must be, have a right perspective when you're enjoying those things to to be focused that you don't get caught up with those things but you must be focused on on him and his purposes because you can use those opportunities at sports events and at concerts and um, going out for meals and to be seeking an opportunity to share the word share the gospel of truth you should make every opportunity so to be pure in heart to be focused in your heart and your mind you're thinking on god's word and you're thinking on looking for opportunities to, to share his truth so to me that is what pure in heart means it means focused and it means an intent to please god because without faith it's impossible to please god and we must be focused in our faith to him not to church not to religion but to him as a person of jesus christ who lived and died to save us from our sins and keep give us a new life a new perspective well i hope we've given you a better perspective of these verses so far in the next episode we'll be on matthew chapter 5 and verse 9 look forward to seeing you then bye god bless